Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna be sharing what we're getting our kids in their stockings for Christmas. Before I get started, I just wanna say hi, my name's Carrie. If you're new here, I make videos about motherhood and minimalism and living with intention. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna be sharing what we're giving our kids in their stockings today. Uh, we don't do a lot um, and I try to stick to consumables. So the categories that I kind of stick to are uh, snacks and toiletries, like bathroom stuff, like toothbrushes, toothpaste, stuff like that, and then craft supplies. All right, so let me start with an item that is technically, I would think, is a toiletry. It's not really a necessity, but I thought the kids would like it. It's Mr. Bubbles foam. It's like the bathtub foam. Does anyone remember that when they were a kid? Well, they still make it. <laughs> and it's Mr. Bubbles foam soap. And this is Lincoln's. He's going to get a marshmallow scent. And Violet is going to get a sugar cookie scent. So we have a very hard time getting the kids to want to take a bath, so I'm hoping this might help a little bit. <laughs> so that's their toiletry item. I also wanted to mention that both kids are basically getting the same thing, so it's gonna be a lot of like the same thing, but a little bit different. The next item that they are both getting in their stocking is this Model Magic, like Crayola Mundo kind of. Um, Violet is getting this like light green one, and then Lincoln has blue. All right, the next thing is kind of sort of borderline trinkety, but it's technically a, like a creative craft item. So I'm gonna throw this in there to bulk up the stocking a little bit. Um, they're each getting one of these, like a, one of those Imagine Ink coloring books. Uh, Violet's gonna get Baby Shark and Lincoln is gonna get Paw Patrol Christmas. All right, so let's move on to food items. Now this seems a little trinkety, I will admit, but my kids love these. So they're each getting a Pez dispenser um, with three packs of Pez. Lincoln's gonna get Santa and Violet is gonna get a snowman. The next item is something I just shared in my Costco grocery haul. Um, it's this, this That's It bars. These if you have not tried these, these are so good. They are only two ingredients. It's apple and then whatever fruit it's paired with. There's no added sugar. Yeah, no preservatives, no added sugar, 100% real fruit. So if you want to fill your kid's stocking with something that's still snack-like, but kind of, I mean, it's pretty healthy. I guess there's still like quite a bit of sugar just from the fruit, but at least there's no added sugar. Um, so if you want a snack bar that's relatively healthy for your kids, try these. These are awesome. I love them. Um, and my kids love them. So these are the mini ones. I'm gonna put a bunch in the bottom of their stocking and if there's any left, I'll just kind of stick them in our a snack bowl for bars. I'm just gonna stick the rest in there. <laughs> and the last item is something that I always remember having hanging off my stocking. So because, you know, I'm kind of nostalgic in that way, I got just some regular old candy canes to stick on the outside of their stockings. I'll probably put two each and then I'll probably just hang the rest on the tree. I don't know. I don't really even know if my kids are gonna eat candy canes. It looks cute and there they are. Those are the candy canes. The last thing um, I don't have with me because I'm probably just gonna buy it a couple days before Christmas, but I'm actually gonna throw in like a <laughs> fresh mango in each of their stockings. And I know that sounds kind of weird, but mango is their favorite fruit and I don't buy them that often because they are quite expensive compared to other fruit I can buy, but they love mango. So I am gonna put a fresh mango in each of their stockings for them. And I think they're, I think they're gonna love it. I think they'll think it's funny. So I have not bought those yet, but those will be going in their stockings as well. And guys, that's it. That's all that's going in the kids' stockings. Um, we keep it very simple. We actually don't usually put things in mine and Ryan's stockings. Um, I don't know, we just don't. We we could, I we just don't. Um, so I'll put all this stuff in their stockings and that's gonna be all that they get in there. If you wanna see what the kids got as Christmas gifts, I will link that video down below and I'll put it up in on the video screen somewhere. I don't know where it ends up going. I'll link that for you. If you're looking to keep your stockings more minimal when you're um, trying to fill them for your kids, Remember to stick to consumables. It's so easy to overspend when it comes to finding little trinkets to that fit in a stocking. But just because something says stocking stuffer doesn't necessarily mean that you need to put it in your stocking. If you're gonna take anything away, remember to keep these three categories in mind, food, like snacks and toiletries and 
art supplies. It's all you need to do when you're filling the stocking. But I think that's all I have to say for today. It's kind of a quick video, I hope. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, if you wanna subscribe, please feel free to do so. I would really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.